All right, my friends, welcome back to another Top 100 Reaction video. My name is Jacob, and uh, welcome to the channel. And welcome to number 49 on the list, Devondre Campbell, linebacker for the Packers. And from behind, I must admit, I mentioned this in the previous video, he looks like that guy. The guy who I just absolutely adore, on screen at least. He had glasses last year. He's always a store. He's always there or thereabouts, as far as the interviews are concerned. And his name, Nick Minnett, escapes me. Let's get into it. He looks like an absolute fucking beast. I'd say a lot of it's to do with the hair, but let's continue. What has he done? What did he do? Did he snap someone in half? Devondre Campbell. Now that's a name I would recognise, but I, I don't. And that's what these videos are about. Let's get it done. Hitters on three. One, two, three. Hitters. Devondre Campbell. Hitters on three. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Just talk about his game. Yeah. And like what he brought to this. Yeah, I was a fan of him when he was in Atlanta, actually. Devondre Campbell has always made memorable plays, but isn't someone everyone always remembers. <laughs> well, <laughs> neither did I. <laughs> I must admit. And with that in mind, if he's come from Atlanta to the Packers, I'm going to say that the Packers have let go of the, the linebacker that I'm thinking of. Zadaria Smith. That's the one. Alright, nah. I'm good. Alright, nah, I'm good. I've thought of that name. Let's see what this guy's about. After his breakout season with the Packers, he'll be someone who's hard... Okay, no. I'm going to confirm this. 1993. Look at that. July 1st, 1993. 29 years of age. 6 foot 3, 232 pounds. Went to Minnesota from 13 to 15. Got picked up in the 16 draft. Pick number 115, round number 4. Went to the Falcons from 16 to 19. Went to the Cardinals in 2020. And went to the Packers in 2021. Okay. I'd call him a veteran. I'll tell you what. At 6 foot 4, 240 odd pounds, running a 458 40 yard dash, with a 34 inch vertical. And we won't talk too much about the broad or bench. That is an absolute dynamite hitter, as they say. Hitter on three. One, two, three, hitter. Um, yeah, one season with the Green Bay Packers. Got career highs in uh, total tackles and solo tackles and sacks and interceptions and return yards and fumble recoveries. So he's certainly balled out. But I will say he's, he's had over 608 total tackles. That's, that's a fairly decent amount. And... With the trajectory that he's on, he should he should reach a thousand. He should. Played one postseason game last year, seven tackles, one pass deflected, and uh, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure it was a loss. Can't remember who too. Was it Tampa Bay? Anyways, guys, let's get into it. Devondre Campbell. Boom. Balling out finally. To forget. It is a loss of three. Devondre Campbell on the hit. 140 odd tackles during the year. I mean, he's, 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 there, he's, he's everywhere. As we can see. Doesn't matter what team it is. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Huntley bouncing to the right. He's being chased. He's not going to get to the end zone. Taken down out of bounds. It's a sack for Devondre Campbell. And you see what he did for Green Bay. That's why I feel like they was missing for a while since. Shoot, probably like what, Blake Martinez left. You know, they kind of fell off a little bit, but he getting them back up. He uncomfortable back there in that pocket. He can't keep his eyes downfield. Playing for his look at the hair. The hair makes him look like a fucking predator. I'm not going to lie. They're not a sexual predator. A football predator. His third team in three years, Campbell has often been passed on. Oh. That doesn't mean that it is... Look, I, look, look, I tell you what, I wouldn't want to be whipped by one of those dreadlocks, let alone actually hit by the guy. It's ever easy to get a pass by him. Let's have a look at this. Many guys of that size, that build, not oh, really good in coverage, but I feel like he, he's a real good cover guy, and uh, I feel like that's what he uh, thrives at the most. 
Good protection initial. Well, Devin White's a cool cat, isn't he? Throws it over the middle, intercepted. Down Ray Campbell inside the 20, cutting right down near the 15 yard line. That was too easy, surely. What Devon happened there? Ray Campbell had the ball thrown right to. Yeah, him. I know what the. Well, the receiver didn't didn't turn in when he was supposed to, and uh, it honestly looked like a receiving route <laughs> to De Devondre. Devontae? Devondre Campbell. And to have a guy like that in the middle of the field controlling everything, somebody kind of on to make sure everybody's right where they need to be. And uh, he got a Pro Bowl now, and he got a big payday. Oh, Joe Burrow takes him down. I like to see that. I do like to see that because we have seen, uh, well, we've actually seen Joe Burrow shy away from tackles thus far. So it's good to see him actually put his body on the line there. Because, I mean, he's, you know, he's, he's, he's embarrassed, isn't he? It wasn't the receiver's fault. It was his fault. I see you, Joe. Throws right side intercepted. Devon and another. Out of bounds, and there is your dagger. Campbell put a dagger in all the naysayers this season. He's the first Green Bay inside linebacker to be named first team all pro since Ray Nitschke. He signed his first long term contract extension. And it's his first time on the players list. Oh, mate, that gave me chills, bro. Absolute chills. Ooh, jeez. Oh. If you're a linebacker, you had so that ball. So happy for the guy. My, my tip of the hat. I would have absolutely loved to see him on camera, as far as the interviews are concerned. But let's just have a look at his deal. Oh, my God. He got picked up by the Packers for one year. Right? One year. And just a year later, yes, less than a year later, on March 17th, 2022, he re-signed with the Packers on a five-year deal worth $50 million. Now compare that to his previous deal. We don't know how much he signed for with the Cardinals for that single year, but he did sign a four-year, $2.9 million contract with the Falcons, which was never renewed. So to go from there, four years, 2.9 million, to five years, 50 million. Oh, the man got paid, and for that, I say, respect. And best of luck for this coming season. I'll recognize you out there, that's for sure. Um, thanks for watching, guys. You know, that was fun. That was really fun. And in the next one, we're looking at Robert Quinn, number 48 in the list. Defensive end for the Bears. See you then. Peace out.